Jessica's Cleaner Leaner Kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you guys how, how to make a healthy Belgian waffle recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by making oat flour and I'm just going to take old fashioned oats and I'm going to blend them in my blender. If you don't have a blender you can use just oat flour from the store but you're going to want to make sure that your serving size is going to be the same as when you're measuring it from here. So. I believe a third of a cup of oat flour is 160 calories, whereas a half a cup of oats is 150 calories. So I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna take my half cup measure and I'm gonna do six half cup measures, so three cups total. Two, just found that if you make a bigger batch it everything blends better so I'm going to turn on my Vitamixer This is a natural sweetener. I'm just gonna stick that on in there a little bit more. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're gonna do the exact same amount of egg whites as we did the oats. So I'm gonna do three cups of the egg whites. And this is going to be to make my batter. So one, two, one more. And this will make six servings. So you can divide that throughout the week. And you can either make all of the waffles up and then you can even freeze some of them or you can just put your extra batter in a little container and have it ready to go every day. Then the last thing I'm going to add to the mix is a half a banana. This just helps thicken it up just a little bit. All in my blender. with some olive oil ham. That way it doesn't stick to it, so I just spray it down really good. And then when you pour this, I'm just gonna pour around three-fourths of a cup to a cup in. So I got about three-fourths of a cup. I'm just gonna pour it on in. A little bit more actually. Make it a full cup. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little spoon and spread it around. And depending on your waffle maker, you might want to do a little bit more than a cup. And then you're just going to close it and let it cook. And then you can go ahead and Top your waffles with fresh fruit and you can do some sugar-free syrup or I'm going to show you guys how to make a berry sauce um, on the stove top in just a minute. So these will just take a couple minutes to make and then we'll be back and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, welcome back. So our waffles are ready so this is how they turned out. 
and I still have some more batter left. So I've cooked up eight waffles and I still have batter left. I'm gonna go ahead and make my berries. So I'm gonna take a couple of fresh cups of strawberries and blueberries, just mixed together. I just sprayed my pan with some Pam and I put the heat on medium. And then I'm gonna sprinkle over the top a couple teaspoons of Truvia. And you don't have to use this sauce on the top, but it is really delicious if you want to try something a little different. And then I'm going to let that sit on the medium heat until it starts to boil. And then I will be adding about a half a cup to a cup of cottage cheese to it. So we're just going to let that heat up and boil for about two to three minutes and then add our cottage cheese to it and it'll be ready to go. So we'll show you what it looks like when it gets a little towards the end of that. Okay, so now we've got our berries boiling. They've been boiling for about three minutes and you can just kind of see what it looks like. So it's gonna get more of that sauce consistency as the berries get warm and start melting. Then I'm just gonna add about a half a cup to a cup of cottage cheese to it and just mix that right in and just continue to let it keep heating so everything gets warm. We've got a nice sauce here. And then you're just gonna put some of it in a little thing and top your little waffle with it. There we go, that's it. So uh, please try this recipe out. The waffles taste amazing and they're just made with the oats and egg whites and a little bit of banana. And you can feel free to put fresh fruit on your waffles or try this mix and you can either add less or more cottage cheese depending on how you like your sauce to taste and I'd love to hear what you guys think. So we'll see you guys next time and uh, just remember to keep eating clean.